Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. I'm Joe. It's time for another Whiskey Wednesday review. This time, something quite interesting and something I'm quite excited to try. It is an Indian whiskey, an Indian single malt from the Amrut Distillery. Sample was sent to me by Tom Thompson from tomswhiskeyreviews.com. Be sure to check that site out. If you like your whiskey reviews, if you like my reviews, check out his website. Not only reviews, but he posts news about whiskey, industry links, industry kind of what's going on, lots of fun information, and it's a really nice, nicely laid out site as well. I will put a link to his site in the description below as well. So please be sure, he's a really nice guy. So this is an Indian single malt. So you might be surprised to hear that Indians make whiskey, but they actually, they drink more whiskey than anyone else on the planet. But a lot of their whiskey couldn't be sold legally as whiskey in Scotland because it's actually made from molasses and not barley, water and yeast. But Amrut started the trend and made a single malt. So essentially, this has got exactly the same ingredients as a Scottish single malt whiskey. Whiskey matures a lot faster in India, which is a really important thing to know. Obviously it's a lot hotter climate, and when it's hotter, the spirit absorbs a lot more flavour from the wood a lot quicker. So you don't think you're ever going to see a 10, 12, 15, 18 year old Indian whiskey, because if it was to sit that long in the barrel, in that heat in India, it would just be over oak and absorb way, way too much flavour. But it doesn't mean it's going to be a bad whiskey. You can get some incredible young whiskies. Now, before I start this whiskey review, it's the old style bottling. This is a sample from. So you actually can't get the this particular bottle of Amrut. The new style is going to be slightly more refined, probably slightly, slightly more developed as a result. But it's really interesting to try. I'd love to try this whiskey and then try the current bottling. It's bottled at 40%. Let's give it a nose. And it's matured in New American Oak and ex bourbon. Lovely kind of, just kind of classic kind of golden colour. Let's give it a nose. Now immediately, there's a lot of green fruit going on. Kind of citrus fruit, um, green apples, slightly kind of sour orange note, maybe slightly peary. Um, what else am I getting? Maybe a slight green gauge note, you know, the kind of green gauge skin. If you don't know what green gauges are, they're the, um, it's basically like a plum but smaller and greener. And they're really nice on an unwhisky related note. Go and see if you can get green gauges. In the UK, it's a really, really, really limited season for green gauges, um, but they're available in France a lot of the time. They're beautiful. Anyway, back to the whisky. There's a slight kind of burnt sugar note as well. It's quite nice on the nose. Quite light fruit. Burnt sugar maybe. Does, uh, does anyone know the, the juggery? You get stuff called juggery, which is kind of almost like a, a block of sugar that you can use for cooking. You kind of break chunks off. It literally comes in a huge cone. Kind of reminds me of that. I had it years and years ago when I was a child. but I'm not getting much else on the nose actually. It doesn't really go anywhere. Right, let's give it a test.
Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's not. It's not subtle on the palate. I can tell you that. Um. Hmm. Slightly metallic. Heavily, heavily burnt nuts. Hmm. Slightly kind of almost. It's almost kind of a rusty, like rusty metal note to it. Hmm. Not really keen on the palate, I'm afraid. Uh, let's give it another taste. It's got an oily mouth feel. It's quite sharp. It's quite kind of acidic. Mm, I'm really not a fan of the palette. It's almost just, it's too sharp. And I know it sounds silly, but a lot of people, when they drink whiskey, they say, oh, it gives you a burn. Well, this does, it gives you kind of a, has got that kind of sharp, burning, rusty metal quality to it. Mmm. That's a shame. I was really looking forward to that. And as I say, this is the old style bottling, so it's not available anymore. So I'm going to have to seek out the new one. Let's give it one more taste to see if it uh, kind of redeems itself. No, right, not. It's almost like a battery acid, battery acid quality. Really kind of, really metallic. Not a fan, not a fan. It kind of promised a little bit on the nose, but then it goes so far down, in my opinion of it, on the palate. Oh, that's a real shame. Gonna have to seek out the new bottle, see if it's any better, see if it's any more developed. Uh, I'm gonna give this, a 4 out of 10. I have to say, I think it's my lowest score so far. Yeah, not a fan. Kind of promised a little bit more than the nose in it does in the palette. Yeah, 4 out of 10 for the old style Amrut single malt at 40%. Please let me know if you've tried this bottling and you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Please comment in the boxes below. Or just have a, send me a tweet. I'll put my Twitter and Facebook links in the description. I'd love to know your thoughts as well. And cheers again to Tom Thompson for sending me the sample. See you next week, guys. Cheers.